as I said earlier, when I'm teaching is, uh, and people want to do the scarecrows, they want to start the straw right away and always make them wait till last. So I have to break one of my own rules for this demo. Uh, this was just one that I had was doing a demo on uh, blocking in the face in one of my classes. But uh, this is, I, I normally use a glove. I know some guys don't wear gloves. I, I do. Uh, this is one technique. Uh, I take my glove off uh, because you, you can really get into a mess with how you do this with a glove. And uh, it, don't ask me how I know this, but, uh, but I'll take a V tool. And uh, like I say, now, this is going to be uh, very difficult. You take the V tool. And instead of wasting away, you want to save your your wood. Some more you eat to the end. And sometimes uh, you can only get two or three little pieces of straw done. But you can kind of see how that's coming out. Because with a V tool, we normally would just use it to outline or something. Then when I come back, I just hit it with super glue. And this is where you can get in trouble with super glue in your glove. Uh, not that I know personally, but it, it can happen. And I use a, a medium uh, super glue. Uh, <laughs> I used to think uh, what I'm using here is Loctite. It's I uh, get it probably Lowe's, Home Depot. And I always thought it was thin. So I'm in Woodcraft one day and I, I needed some glue. So I got some thin. And let me tell you what, thin is like water. Uh, this one, there's glue here. There was glue all over my pants, or glue all over the table. So don't use thin. But you just keep going with that. And then this is what you end up with as far as your straw. Now, if you've got an area that breaks out, uh, don't, get, don't get all worked up about that. Because what that does is just give you more movement in the straw. So, uh, but it's just so simple, but it's very time consuming. Uh, sometimes I can block this, get these carvings done, and then I'll spend as much time on the straw as I do uh, everything else. Uh, you you got to be careful with some of the super glues. They have a very strong smell. So if I'm sitting down and doing like I'm going to do this whole project tonight, I have a fan to try to pull that smell away from me because I've had where I, it's actually burnt my throat and stuff and uh, stupid on my part. But it's it's so simple. Uh, but it makes a neat effect, but I thought, okay, what else can I do with that? 